Hello, my littles. Welcome to Mammy's Corner, and I'm Mammy. <laughs> but you already knew that, didn't you? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. It is time for our affirmations. Are you ready to say it out loud? Are you ready? All right, ready? Let's go. I am loved. Wait, what? I say it louder, ready? I am loved. Good job. Who loves you? God loves you. That's right. Who else loves you? Mammy loves you, and don't you forget it. All right, ready for the next one? It says, I am good. You are good. Say it louder, ready? I am good. Good job. Now, for the last one. I am kind. Louder, babies. You got this. Ready? I am kind. Good job, because you are good and kind. Now, before Mammy starts to read a book, I want you to find your comfortable chair, maybe, you know, favorite blankie, favorite cuddle buddy, favorite mommy or daddy to cuddle with, and let's get down to reading a book. Oh, but wait, before we do, hit that thumbs up sign and show Mammy some love so that other kids can see the books too. Ah, are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, so today is going to be Journey Cake Ho. Ho, ho, ho. Are you ready? This is so exciting. I'm so excited. I am so glad you're here. Mimi loves to read to you. Are you ready? All right, let's go. This is Journey Cake Ho by Ruth Sawyer and pictures by Robert, Robert McClowski. So Mimi didn't write this book, but I'm reading it because I have it. You ready? Here we go. There were three of them. The old woman, Mary. The old man, Grumble. And Johnny, the bound out boy. They lived in a log cabin to the other side of Tip Top Mountain. The old woman took care of the wool. She carded the, and spun the, and knit it. She laid the fire, tended the griddle, churned the butter, and sang at her work. The song she liked best ran this wise. Ho for a journey cake, quick on a griddle bake. Sugar and salt it, turn it and brown it. Johnny, come eat it with milk for your tea. That's a cute little song, isn't it? The old man tended the garden patch, sheared the sheep, milked the cow, felled the trees, sawed the logs, and grumbled at his work. The grumble he liked best was... A bother, a pest, all work and no rest. Come winter, come spring, life's a nettlesome thing. That didn't sound very nice, did it? Hmm. And what about Johnny? He split the kindling, filled the wood box, lugged the water, fed the creatures, fished the brook, and whistled at his work. One tune was as fine as another to Johnny. They all like music. Do you like music? They do, don't they? Their whole world lay close about them. There were the garden patch, the brook, the logging road that ran down to the valley where the villagers lived, and the spruce woods. Whoa, look at that. Yeah. On the tallest tree sat Raucus, the sentimental crow, watching and waiting to caw when surprise or trouble was near. Nothing happened for a long, long time. They lived snug like rabbits in their burrow. Then, one night, a fox carried off the hens. Caw, caw, called the crow, but it was too late. The next night, a wolf carried off the sheep. Caw, 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 called the crow, but it was too late. There came a day when the pig wandered off and got himself lost. Last of all, the cow fell into the brook and broke her leg. All that day, the crow cawed and cawed and cawed. Oh, no. That sounds sad, doesn't it, my littles? Oh, my goodness. That night, the old woman said, shaking her head, Trouble has come. The meal chest is low. The bin is near empty. What will feed two will not feed three. The old man grumbled and said, Johnny, 
Tis likely you'll be leaving us on the morrow and find yourself a new master and a new ma'am. Uh-oh. The next morning, by sunup, the old woman had run together a piece of sacking and put straps to it to hold Johnny's belongings, a knife, some gum from the spruce trees, his shoes, and a washing cloth. On top went the journey cake that had been baked for him. It was large, round, and crusty hard. Now I'll be off with you, said the old man, grumbling. What must be, must be. Off with you, and luck follow after, said the old woman sadly. Oh, look, she's crying. Oh, this is sad. What's going to happen to him? Oh. Johnny said nothing at all. He left his whistle behind him and took the logging road down the valley. Right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot. He was halfway down and more when the straps on his sacking bag broke loose. Out bounced the journey cake. It bumped and it bumped and it rolled over and over. Down the road it went. And how it hollered. <gasps> oh no, look. Oh, what's it going to do now? Journey cake ho! Journey cake hi! Catch me and eat me as I roll by! Away and away rolled the journey cake. Away and away ran Johnny. Look. There's Johnny. He's running after it. Oh, no. Will he catch it? Will he? Let's find out. Faster and faster, they passed a field full of cows. A brindle cow tossed her head and took after them. She mooed. At running, I'll beat you. I'll catch you and eat you. Faster and faster and faster, they passed a pond full of ducks. Journey cake, ho! Journey cake, hi! Catch me and eat me as I roll by. Oh, my goodness. This is so silly. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. A white duck spread her wings, and away and away she went after them, quacking. At flying, I'll beat you. I'll catch and I'll eat you. Faster and faster and faster and faster. They came to a meadow where sheep were grazing. A white sheep and a black sheep took after them. Now they were through the valley, and the road began to climb. Slower and slower rolled the journey cake. Slower and slower ran Johnny, the brindle cow, the white duck, and the two sheep. Journey cake hi! The journey is long. Catch me and eat me as I roll along. They passed a wallow, a spotted pig heard and came a grunting. Look at that spotted pig. Oh my goodness. They passed a barnyard and a flock of red hens flew over the stump fence squawking. Slower and slower. Slower, higher, and higher. <gasps> They're going to catch it, are they? Let's find out. At last they came to a mountain pasture where a gray donkey was feeding. Now the journey cake was huffing and puffing. Journey cake, hi. The journey is long. C -c catch me and eat me <sighs> as I roll along. The donkey was fresh. He kicked up his heels and brayed. I'll show you I can beat you. I'll catch you and eat you. Oh, no. There's a donkey. What's going to happen? Oh, no. Higher went the road. Slower and slower, slower and slower rolled the journey cake to the other side of Tip Top Mountain. Slower and slower and slower and slower came the procession with Johnny at the head. Huffing and puffing, they circled the spruce woods. From his perch on the tallest tree, Raucus the crow let us his prize warning. Caw! 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 Johnny heard. He stopped all of a quickness. There was the brook. There was the garden patch. There was the log cabin. <gasps> Look! Is he back home? Let's find out. He was home again. The journey cake had brought him to the end of his journey. The journey cake spun around twice and fell flat. I'm all of a tucker, it hollered. We're all of a tucker, cried the others. The red hens found a house waiting for them. The cow found her tether and rope. Uh, the pig found a sty, the duck found a brook, the sheep found a place for grazing, and the donkey walked himself into the shed.
Whoa, look at that. See? Wow. She looks happy, doesn't she? The old man came, the old woman came a running. The old man came a running. Johnny hugged them hard. He found his whistle again and took up the merriest tune. Wee oo, wee oo, he whistled. He hopped first on the right foot, then on the left foot. When he had his breath, he said, Journey Cake did it. Journey Cake fetched me and the cow and the white duck and the black and white sheep and the flock of the red hens and the pig and the gray donkey. Now they are all yours. The old man forgot his best grumble. The old woman picked up the journey cake and went inside to freshen it up on the griddle. She went singing the song she liked best. Warm up the journey cake. From now on, it's Johnny Cake. Johnny, come eat with milk for your tea. The end. Wow! Did you see how that journey cake took him up and down? Or it went down and then up and then down? Oh my goodness. Woo! There was a lot of running around in that book, wasn't there? Oh my goodness. Did you like it? Did you like the story? Make sure you give Mammy a thumbs up and let me know that you like the story because the more, more likes that Mammy gets, the more that Mammy gets recognized for everyone else too. And you want Mammy to be shown by anyone else, don't you? Everyone else gets a chance to see me. So make sure you throw that thumbs up. All right, so we are at the end. What does Mammy do? I ask you questions, right? What is it? Who loves you? God loves you. Who else loves you? Mammy loves you. Shh. But Mammy loves you bestest. Until next time, my littles, be good and be kind.